guys, as Anish here today, and I'm back with another video on Sonic Frontiers. And yep, news once again. Well, yeah, it is news actually, because Sonic Frontiers is going to be at some sort of event from Sega. And obviously, because it's a Sega event and it's Sonic Frontiers, and because we're kind of suffering without any gameplay of Frontiers, obviously, we're going to speculate and talk about it. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's take a look at the news at hand. On to Twitter. We Sonic Rush. So here we have a tweet from a user called Yen. No, we're not Yen. I was thinking of Yenshin Impact there. Yeshinro hashtag Sonic Movie 2 and then yeah. And then parece ser que en el Sega TV 2022 que se okay obviously that's in Spanish so my Spanish isn't perfect. I can probably read a few of it, but obviously let's read with the translation. It's here Sonic Frontiers with PR Sega TV 2022 from March 25 to 26. Do you get hopes up? After all, it's a damn small event and only focus on the Asian market. And then if we click the link provided, it takes us to this website. And it's called Sega TV 2022 in Taipei. Taipei? Not sure how to say that, but um, I think this is in Chinese, I think, right here, because um, I use Google Translate and um, yeah, I said it's in Chinese, so if it isn't, then blame Google Translate, not me, all right? And yeah, this logo is pretty nice looking and, and this isn't a Sonic event. That Sonic logo is only there because this is Sega and obviously Sonic is a mascot. And I'm pretty sure they use the same thing every single year. And apparently in 2020, this also uses here and in 2021 too. And obviously, yeah, Sonic news was a very dry in 2020. And yeah, we got some sort of time here as well. We got, you can see on the bottom here, 25, 3, 2022. That was obviously the 25th of March, 2022. And then you got the 26th there and you got 7 p.m. I'm pretty sure that's Chinese time or something like that. Wherever Taipei is. But anyways, here we have the first two days of the event. And, and apart from seeing Sonic in the logo of this event, we can see three images of Sonic the Hedgehog here. We have one on day one, uh, the Sonic logo there. I think that's the J Japanese account or Asian account, whatever it is. And then we have someone next to there with a Sonic Mania thing that is. Image next to the face. And then onto the right here, we have the Sonic Movie 2 in Chinese, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, basically on day one of this event, we'll have Sega Asia YouTube and Facebook and Asia Twitch. I swear that, why are they using light blue for Twitch? Surely they use purple? I mean, honestly, I thought that was Twitter at first, but no, apparently it's Twitch, but using light blue. I mean, sure, all right. Um, let's just move on, shall we? Right here, we have the more detailed image of the f day one. And then we have a bunch of Chinese text, but I use Google Translate to get this. So uh, I'm translating it here. Sonic actually visited Taipei. Uh, Taipei, I don't know how to say it, honestly. And that makes me think this is in China because Sonic actually visited and Sonic is usually a Japanese, um, what's called, mascot. So he's usually in Japan. So yeah, I guess this thing is in China then. So I'm guessing that 7 p.m. earlier so I was in Chinese time, not Japanese time. But anyways, learn about Sonic with the Sonic team developers. So yes. We're having two people from the Sonic team actually at this event talking about something Sonic related and wink wink, nudge nudge, is it Sonic Frontiers? I mean, why else would you bring two people from Sonic team to talk about something that isn't Frontiers related? They're not going to talk about Sonic Origins, are they? I mean, no, that would seem silly because you have to remember this is only a small event. They're not going to reveal Sonic Origins here, a small event where nobody's going to be watching. It's only specific for the Asian market, not the entire world. If they want to do an entire world thing, then Obviously, you do a bigger event, like the Future Game Show or something like that. But anyways, if we go into day two here, we see the Sonic Movie 2 logo, and once again, translate this into this. We will introduce new works in the future in the form of videos. And we will also introduce the movie Sonic 2 together. So, yeah, obviously, they're going to be talking about the Sonic Movie 2 here as well, Sonic Frontiers, which I assume is going to be Frontiers anyways. And yeah, we don't really need to be expecting too much from the Sonic Movie 2 because we've pretty much seen everything right now. We know Knuckles is going to be in the movie, Death Egg Robot, Tails... Master Emeralds, I mean, we've seen too much of the movie, honestly. It's like damn crazy. See, I don't expect anything new from the Sonic, uh, for the Sonic movie 2 here because, yeah, we've pretty much seen everything already. We've seen all the TV spots, trailers, everything. So, yep, don't expect anything from the Sonic movie 2 here. But the biggest giveaway that probably you're going to be talking about Sonic Frontiers at this event is if you scroll to the bottom of the website, you see this image right here. And you have some game on the top left. I'm not sure what that is. Not sure what the middle one is either on the top middle. Cadavers for dinner. Don't know what that's supposed to mean, but on the right you have Soul Hackers 2. Then some Japanese, well, Chinese text under that. Then bottom left you have Loop 8. And then, right in the bottom middle, we have Sonic Frontiers. Yes! 
finally, the solid confirmation that Frontiers News is coming to this Sega event. Because it all adds up really, we've got Frontiers here, and Sonic Team developers, I mean, why else would they not show Sonic Frontiers or something here? It makes complete and total sense to me, in my opinion. Who knows better about Sonic Frontiers than the people working on it? The Sonic Team developers. Makes sense, right? Now, a bit more of a little reach here, and that is regarding Sonic Frontiers gameplay at the Future Game Show. And the Future Game Show is actually today in, I think, a couple hours now from when this video is going to go up, so yeah. This Sega TV event is going to happen the day after the Future Game Show. Well, whatever happens there, so... If they show Frontiers gameplay at the Future Game Show, maybe at the Sega TV event, this happens like literally the day afterwards, they'll be talking about the Sonic Frontiers gameplay that was just unveiled the day previously. Which is why they have the Sonic Team developers with them, because in the past, usually when like gameplay of like Forces and Lost Worlds were revealed, uh, like usually like the day after, like very recently afterwards, that the gameplay was revealed, you have some sort of talk or words from the Sonic Team developers. Going into more in depth about the game and probably how they developed it and everything like that. That pretty much always happens with Sonic gameplay recently. Lost Worlds and Forces are the main two examples here. So I don't think it's completely bizarre that they do the same thing for Sonic Frontiers. You show the gameplay at the big event at the future game show, and then the day afterwards, you have a smaller, more focused event for like a smaller audience that hasn't seen the gameplay and all the, its glory, and then talk about it there. And then show the gameplay there and then the developers talk about the game. It makes total sense to me. Now, even if Sonic Frontiers gameplay isn't at the future game show, that still means some sort of Frontiers news is going to be coming at the Chinese event. Now, I don't think it's going to be huge news at the Chinese event because, obviously, like the original tweet said, it's only focused to the Chinese and Asian market, so it's not going to be massive news because if it was massive news, it probably want to show like the entire world. And yeah, don't expect Frontiers gameplay at the Chinese event if it's not at the future game show because, obviously, a small event, like I said, like a couple seconds ago, if you weren't listening, what are you doing? And yeah, either way, both scenarios, we kind of win. Future game show, might show Sonic Frontiers gameplay, and they talk about it at this Asian event. But if there's no Frontiers gameplay at the Future Game Show, we still have this event to talk about Sonic Frontiers, so in both scenarios, we win. So yeah, pretty much confirmed we're getting Sonic Frontiers news at some point this week. Whether it's big or small, well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Now, I know a couple of people saying that about that Tails 2 thing that probably going to show Frontiers gameplay or something there. Unfortunately, that is not a thing because that thing came out at 4pm today, British time, and yeah, it pretty much talked about the two worlds and just deconfirmed it. And the people saying that Ian Flynn's knowing smile thing on Twitter, I'm pretty sure that was because, um, yeah, the Two Worlds thing. It's not because he was a writer of Frontiers and, yeah, he knows it to be some sort of Frontiers gameplay at the Tales Tube thing. It's because he confirmed himself a couple of months back that Two Worlds was a goner. The thing, it doesn't exist anymore. So, at this Tales Tube thing, they basically just said that, oh, basically confirmed that it's all one world. They didn't specifically say that there's no Two Worlds. They basically said, all in Sonic's world, they have the Unleashed thing, the Adventure World stuff, and the Generations Green Hill and all that. So yeah, Tales Tube had nothing, so yeah, Future Game Show and this Sega TV event are what we're going to be looking forward to most. Anyways, that brought us up for today's video. So yes, it's pretty much confirmed at this point that we're getting some sort of Frontiers news, whether it's the Future Game Show getting us gameplay, or this Asian event giving us some sort of small tidbits of Frontiers news, it's still news either way. But, what do you guys think of this news? Are you excited? And do you even think we'll get gameplay at the future game show? Let me know down below. Love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed by the join button down below. Remember, it is not necessary. And I will see you all next time. Peace!